While it's great having a specific time and date to count down to your favourite game showcases, it's a thing of beauty when devs stealthily drop a huge piece of news unbeknownst to fans. This is exactly what Supergiant Games just did when they announced a huge gameplay showcase literally minutes before it went live. The showcase for Hades 2 revealed a ton of new stuff, including several new features, abilities and mechanics, and of course, a deeper dive into the new protagonist Melano, the sister of the OG protagonist Zagreus from Hades. It seems like Melano may be winning the sibling as she showed much better crowd control and range with her base weapon than her brother in the technical showcase. The younger sister also seems to have a much better grasp of combat from the start. And that's probably a good thing too, as it seems the devs have amplified the difficulty in the early game. The first area was full to the brim of ghosts firing projectiles and throwing hands to make your life as miserable as possible. The starter weapon appears to be a witch's staff capable of both melee and magic attacks. It also utilises new spells that go hand in hand with the new resource called magic, but it's spelt with a K at the end because why not? The staff wasn't the only weapon showcase though. We also got a chance to see the Sister Blades in action, a duo of close range swords that opened the door to more fast paced and aggressive Omega moves. And while only two weapons were showcased, it seems they play a vital part in the game if the devs words are anything to go by. As one went on to say, these are key weapons that are almost like characters in their own right and they each support a different playstyle or at least similarly viable in different situations. And the way that different boons influence them opens up a lot of different possibilities for different builds and different playstyles. We're also introduced to some brand new characters, with the headmistress of the crossroads Hecate taking centre stage, with the tall meme witch voiced by Baldur's Gate 3's very own narrator, the iconic Amelia Tyler. But that's not what you're here for, it's the gameplay. We got a sneak peek at dungeon crawling during the technical test. While it largely uses the same system for drafting Olympian boons during runs, you'll be pleased to know that there's an abundance of new gods, and the characters that do return offer completely new boons specifically specific to the new Hades 2 protagonist. The boons essentially allow you to modify the many layers of Melano's abilities, but this time, the individual abilities offer much more synergy. The technical test highlighted boons from a new god, Apollo, and a returning god, Demeter. In exchange, Melano was given the opportunity to greatly improve her sprint capacity and her attack radius, and even apply a freeze to her attacks. It's clear from the get-go that the devs have focused on how Melano will play. During a run, they said, Melano is really big on controlling these fights, thinning in the herd, making sure she can contend with these foes surrounding her on her own terms. While you can obviously choose to take your own route, it seems that the perks that will work best are those that allow Melano to completely control a crowd and maximise her attacks. Within the crossroads is also a huge cauldron that plays a vital part in your progression, as by gathering materials during each run, the cauldron will allow you to brew up incantations to unlock new weapons, temporary power bonuses and even invite new NPCs to the crossroads. This also ties into the introduction of Ash, a resource that fuels arcana cards that allow you to unlock permanent upgrades back at your base. It seems as though Ash is a direct replacement of Darkness from the first game as the primary way to get permanent upgrades. These cards will play a huge factor during your playthrough as they allow upgrades to things such as base health, minor health regen, magic, stat boost and of course the opportunity for a second life via the death defiance buff. And trust us from watching the footage you're going to die a lot. So this is going to be one of the most vital buffs in the entire game. But for those those of you that don't want the stressful experience of repeatedly dying, you'll be pleased to know that God Mode is making a return, allowing you to gain damage resistance after each death to allow you to focus on getting through the storyline instead of spending hours grinding through endless unfinished runs. While only 9 arcana cards were showcased during the technical test, the devs teased that many more will be added to the game, whether in early access or on launch, by saying, early access we look at is just the beginning. The art style is even more impressive, with some absolutely stunning visuals, I mean if Twitter is anything to go by, maybe the art design was a bit too well done, as some of the Hades 2 characters have already put the entire fandom in horny jail. And the vengeance arc of Melano trying to rescue her kidnapped father sets the stage for a great storyline. Overall, it's safe to say we're super hyped for what's in the pipeline for Hades 2. And while there's no official date for the early access just yet, the devs tease that they want to clear this next technical test as quickly as possible, aiming for no longer than a month, so we could be getting more info very soon. But in the meantime, while you're waiting, YouTube has been working hard in the background to generate the perfect video from our channel just for you. So why not go check it out?